Welcome to County Connection, where we talk about events, programs, and services offered by Summit County Government. I'm your host, Julie Suter. We have a great show lined up for you for this December episode. We're going to be talking about health priorities for our community, uh, community food night at the Community and Senior Center, and some great volunteer opportunities to think about this holiday season. Thanks for joining us. For the first segment of this December episode, we're going to be talking about a community health plan. And here to tell us all about it is Amy Wyland, our Director of Public Health. Welcome, Amy. Hi. Hi, Julie. Thanks for having me. Good to have you here. So yeah. um, Summit County Public Health recently completed a, uh, I want to get this right, a comprehensive community health needs assessment and also um, finalized a community health improvement plan. So can you start by telling yeah. us what the impetus was for this big project? Yeah, of course. So um, health assess community health assessments and improvement plans are actually customary practices of public health. Okay. And actually a national standard for public health agencies. And here in Colorado, all local public health agencies are required to do this every five years since the establishment of the Public Health Act in 2008. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, essentially, this is really measuring the health of our community. <laughs> um, and that sounds like a pretty big undertaking. <laughs> It is a large undertaking. Fortunately, we live in such a collaborative uh, community. We had um, contribution in the process from over 30 agencies and oh, wow. stakeholders. It took over 10 months to complete the entire process, so it was pretty lengthy and a huge time commitment for those involved. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it the assessment itself includes um, a robust process. Um, it includes, you know, really researching and reviewing data that already existed. We also did a public health um, survey, a community survey, and a public focus group, both in English and Spanish, as well as a stakeholder survey. So it really included a huge amount of data. And then that data provided an illustration of, you know, the health status of our community, um, its strengths, and also opportunities uh, for the future. Um, and not only did it provide information on the health status, but also gave our residents, you know, input and uh, we were able to really see insights into how our residents view quality of life here in Summit County. Uh -huh. Um, and, and this is such a large and robust process that it wouldn't have been possible without our, some of our fiscal partners. So I definitely want to recognize um, those that were contributing to the process financially. And that included um, the State Health Department. We get some funding from them. Mm -hmm. Summit County Government, of course, helps support it. We also had contributions from Building Hope. Um, the Family and Intercultural Resource Center, St. Anthony's Medical Center, as well as the um, Summit County Community Care Clinic. Great. Well, it sounds, uh, as you say, um, just the scale of it is pretty incredible involving all those stakeholders. And um, so as you were mining that data and sifting through all that information, what rose to the top in terms of the priorities that we should be addressing um, in terms of our health in this community? Sure. Well, um, it was it was a tedious process, <laughs> to say the least. Um, and it's important to keep in mind that the plan is a plan that will exist for the next five years. So it's really a five-year plan. And we investigated over 50 issues. Um, and through the process, we uh, kind of narrowed that down to the top three priorities. Mm -hmm. And part of that process includes, you know, a capacity assessment, um, whether there are champions within the community that can take on, take the lead on some of these priorities, mm -hmm. whether there's um, community will, funding opportunities available, and certainly whether there's synergy that already exists around some of these issues and momentum that's already taking place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the three priorities that were selected um, were mental health for families, substance abuse focusing on opioids, actually, and health equity and the social determinants of health. 
Okay, so um, let's go through these um, three priorities one by one, um, if that sounds okay to you. And sure. we'll, um, maybe you can kick it off with mental health. What are the opportunities? What, what work is there to be done on that priority? Sure. So um, this one rose uh, as one of the top priorities because what the assessment found was that uh, the majority of our residents are affected by mental illness in some way, whether they are themselves struggling with mental illness and or um, they know somebody who is a friend or family member. We also found in the assessment that most residents feel that not enough is being done to address mental health in our community. Um, and, you know, Research shows that a family member who is diagnosed with mental illness has and can have um, Im impacts for the whole family. Sure. And um, these impacts, um, some of them can be negative and they can arise um, not intentionally, but because of some misunderstanding about dif differences in misunderstanding around what mental health is and how to treat it. Um, and so a family-based approach that empowers the whole family is really an ideal uh, approach to addressing mental illness. So, Great. So yeah. that'll be a priority of yours that you'll work on in partnership with other organizations throughout the community. Correct. Great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to substance use and opioids in particular. Um, sure. What came out of your process? in that priority? Yeah, so, um, well, first it's important to note that Summit County has a higher rate than the state average for opioid-related deaths. Okay, um, not and a distinction that we're looking for. <laughs> no, not something to be proud of, certainly. Um, and the assessment actually showed that one in 25 households is affected by opioids. Wow. Um, we also found that most of our key informants and practitioners uh, reported that opioid problems with opioids is the most impactful for their clients, uh, second only to major depression. Okay. Um, and then we also had 24% of our high school students report that it's uh, prescription drugs are easily accessible. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a lot of work that we can be doing around around this issue. Right. Okay, let's move on to the third priority, which is um, health equity and the social determinants of health. Yeah. Um, so let's maybe start by defining those terms. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, so health equity is becoming um, a very uh, popular term in the public health circles, but not everybody really understands what it means. But it, what it really means is that everybody has the opportunity to achieve their highest level of health. Um, and the social determinants of health are economic and social conditions that impact health status. And so those conditions can include things um, like where people live, where they learn, where they uh, work, where they play, um, and all of that can impact uh, the level of an individual or a group's health. Okay, great. And so um, I want to let folks know at home that over the next few months we're going to do a deeper dive into each of these priorities and talk a little bit more about the strategies and sure. tactics and partnerships. Um, so stay tuned for that um, in the coming months as um, Amy and her team um, continue to do the work on these priorities that you've identified. Um, and then, um, but to just kind of talk a little bit more about this process, um, the one part of it was a comprehensive assessment. So what did you find out about Summit County through that assessment process? So in terms of health equity and the determinants of health, we found that overall the residents view their quality of life here um, very good. Um, but those that cannot make this claim include our younger residents, um, those with lower income and less education level. Um, those with lower income are especially impacted. Um, you know, we have the second highest cost of living rate in the state right. of Colorado, and more than 90% of our workforce earns $50,000 or less. So this impacts a huge portion of our population. Right. What we also found was that there's, there is underutilization of resources available that can have some positive effect on income. Um, and some of these uh, resources include um, 
child care assistance, food security, um, health care access, and, and other types of resources that we really need to help folks understand where that where those resources are and how to access them. Right. It seems like kind of a tough uh, trifecta that we have going on with uh, high cost mm -hmm. of living, lower wages, and then um, people n not being aware of the resources that are available to support them. So those three things kind of work in combination to um, make things more challenging for some of our population. Absolutely. And it can lead into some mental illness um, issues mm -hmm. and also substance abuse um, with the high stress and anxiety that comes with that. Right. Well, it sounds yeah. like uh, you've definitely picked on to, picked some um, important issues to tackle mm -hmm. um, for your folks and our partners. Um, and it also sounds like this plan was uh, very much community driven, would you say? Yeah, you know, I think our process really ensured that it it we we were able to develop a community health improvement plan that was community driven and community owned and what's really incredible is that we have so many partners and agencies that are taking uh, the lead on implementing various strategies so that we can have a real collective impact on the health of our community Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So as we mentioned, we're going to uh, go deeper into uh, these yeah. um, topics and these priorities in the next few months. Um, but if people are interested in the meantime of looking at the assessment and um, checking out the Community Health Improvement Plan, how can they go about doing that? Yeah, the full assessment um, is, and, and the improvement plan are both on our website. Okay, So great. the Summit County website on the public health page. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much, Amy, for um, all the hard work that you did in shepherding that huge process. Um, and thanks for coming into the yeah. studio today to tell us all about it. Well, thanks for having me, Julie. All right. Stick with us. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about Mountain Mentors.